knows when you've been sleeping. He knows when, when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. <laughs> not cry. You better not shout. I'm telling you why. Merry Christmas, guys. From our family to yours, we just want to wish you all a very happy holidays. Enjoy, guys. Keep it safe, and uh, we look forward to uh, sharing our new adventures on our new boat in the new year. Yeah, we'll see you in 2023. Uh, thank you so much for watching our videos all year and for being here for, I think, nearly six Christmases with us. Um, we have gone through some footage and put together a little video for you. And I'm just going to apologise. It gets a little bit emotional. Uh, oh, she's <laughs> emotional. <laughs> um, yeah. I understand why, once you watch. It's a little bit of a different Christmas video, but um, I wanted to share it. It is probably the coldest Christmas that we've ever had. It's close to a white Christmas. That's what it feels like anyway. But there's no snow. <laughs> we are in Mexico, but it is cold. We've got each other. We're here. We're happy. We're healthy. And we just wanted to say a Merry Christmas to you guys. A and Merry, Merry, very Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. So I wanted to put a video together on Christmas and what it's like for us living on a boat and traveling. And I know we show a lot of happiness and joy and we don't really seem to show because it's hard a lot of the things that are tough about living on a boat traveling all the time I thought it was really important to just show some of the things that are are a bit tougher and talk about things that are uncomfortable because I thought it might help somebody else um, out there and and also shows that we're not perfect and that we are human and we have times that are really hard and it's not always, you know, as perfect as it looks through the camera or th on YouTube sometimes. This time of year for me, Christmas is... is hard. <laughs> Christmas is hard. <laughs> but it's beautiful and it's magical and it's... I love it. And as a kid, I loved Christmas. Our family always made it so special and it was, you know, family time. You know, Christmas was the best ever since I lost my mum. Christmas hasn't, isn't the same. And I think a part of it is like, I get sad, I get sad that she's not here, that I get sad that the kids miss out on, on her and celebrating with her. And uh, this Christmas it'll be, you know, I've had 17 Christmases without her. So you think I'll be getting used to it, but it's still hard. 2016 was the last time we celebrated Christmas in Australia with our family and our friends. And um, it's always a tough one. We love this lifestyle and we've made sacrifices to live this lifestyle and that's one of them. And because we travel on a budget, which is also another challenge, we don't always have the freedom to fly home and to be with our loved ones at this time of year. It's pretty much the only time of year I get homesick. And I hate that I do this, I hate that I get upset because the kids see it and Christmas I want to be exciting, I want to be happy, and I want to be all these things that I had growing up, but the reality is Christmas for them is really different, and it's beautiful, and we've had, we're so lucky, we've had some amazing experiences, we've had Christmas in Indonesia and Thailand, and, and we've had Christmas with different people every year for the last five years, and we've had some really special moments, and beautiful moments, and even though I have a moment when I'm sad and this is this is not me I'm not depressed over Christmas I just I have these moments and I wanted to put this on because if you're having a moment it's okay we're together all the time <laughs> so you know most people come together Christmas time is family time and it's special and we're always together we're always having special moments we're always doing exactly what Christmas Day is all about nearly every day that's a it's a weird thing and the pressure that comes with making Christmas special and I think that that gets to me 
and I beat myself up about it sometimes. And this Christmas, you know, we don't have a lot of money, so the presents under the tree will be few and far between, and that's our choice. That's it's how we've all the sequences of events leading up to this Christmas. This we knew this would would be this way. Again, it was a choice we made, but. I just wanted to share this side, this raw, kind of sad, kind of ugly side that is a reality in our life. So people don't feel alone out there. Our life is great. My family is great. I'm very, very, very lucky. You know, there's definitely challenges and I just felt like it was something that I should share. I really wanted to make this video really beautiful and, you know, emotional, like, happy. <laughs> but, you know, reality is, it's not always. And what, what you guys see on camera is a lot of our best moments. And it's hard to show your worst sometimes, but I wanted to because I think it's important to, to share so that other people don't compare and I, I'm the biggest I compare myself all the time I look at other people's lives and I'm like I want to be there I want to be doing that even though my life's incredible I still have those moments and especially the last six months have been really tough it's been really tough yeah, a lot of the time I didn't want to be where we were so I get it I get it if you're watching this and you know you, you don't want to be where you are right this second that's okay and know that things will get better and it's probably just a moment this is a moment for me and I just wanted to share it so I didn't want I don't want any sympathy I don't want anyone to feel sorry for me or let people know that if they feel this way around this time of the year they're not alone and um, it's okay our family is great we are happy and loved and we're gonna have a fantastic Christmas Christmas is it's about love and it's about enjoying each other's company and whether you're a million miles away from your family and from your friends, technology right now makes it so much more possible. Uh, most of our Christmases, most of the day we'll be on the phone video calling our family and our friends and that's a part of our day so we don't really go anywhere, we'll just eat, eat food and talk to our family and friends online and yeah and just make the most of it from our family to yours i hope your christmas is beautiful and these are some clips of the last five years living on a boat tell me one thing is there anything that you're missing i will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow whatever we do we will be all right these holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only wanna be close to you A magical time full of kisses Take a walk outside and tickle the snowman's nose Moving nimbly Did you hear something from the chimney? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow i
Christmas, I only want.